Welcome back to Daytime Toronto. Now, we have had a very educational day, and now we have got the style doctor herself in the house, image consultant and fashion expert from Style Silhouettes, Amanda Coles, with us here today. And her model is Latina. Is that correct? I said it? That's right. We practice over the break. <laughs> Beautiful, fabulous, but we're actually going to make you more cool. Is that correct? Exactly. You got it. So today we're going to talk about sunglasses. So I brought a mixed array of sunglasses for her to try on and maybe you as well. I would love to try on some sunglasses. <laughs> so the first thing when choosing sunglass, sunglasses is actually knowing your face shape. So mm -hmm. without knowing your face shape, just like your body type, how can you find clothes that fit or sunglasses to fit? So there are six different types of um, face shapes. So we have uh, heart shape, we have oblong, we have oval, we have round, we have diamond, and then we have square. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what I am. So then I'm going to get a good education lesson. <laughs> You're going to get a good education. So I brought Slatina here today to sort of show you how you can measure your own face. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to bust out my, my measuring tape I know, just I yet. This. I love how cute it is as well, too. And by the way, can we talk about how we're I'm, matching right now? <laughs> see? This, this fashion this? coordination is fabulous. <laughs> but it's all about you. I'm sorry. Let's talk about sunglasses. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to measure your forehead. So sort of from about here to about here. And then you want to measure across. Maybe I'll get out my measuring tape I'd like here. that. Yeah. So you want to measure across the widest part and just across the bridge of your nose. So you Not from ear to, to ear. Yeah, just a little bit past the eye. You don't want to go ear to ear um, because it's just a matter of your face shape that sort of sticks out there. Mm -hmm. The next one you want to do is your jaw. So the widest part of your jaw. So here and then obviously you times it by two. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is you want to do from the hairline to the chin. So Latina actually has an oval shaped face. Okay. So lucky girl, she can wear any style. So pretty much anything on the table works for her. Um, so we have the different face shapes. So the hourglass, oh sorry, the heart shape is heavier on the, uh, the forehead mm -hmm. and then it goes into sort of a point. It's just very similar to, an heart, to a heart. So what you want to do is you want to balance out and give weight to the bottom of your face. So we have here the aviator style. Oh, very so this cool. style, those were huge, huge a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're still great. The mirror style is really, really in for the season, but they actually give a little bit of weight to the bottom because they're, they're fuller on the bottom there. Okay. And then when you have a round face, because you have some, your face is round and soft, you want to do something that is, I can't see why we wouldn't put these on. Oh, you. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see how it looks. So she can get away with anything. She, she can, can get away with Coke cans on her face and she'd be good. Pretty much. Lucky girl. <laughs> So then we have, next we'll have, um, let's talk about the oblong, oblong shape. So basically your length of your face is wider, is longer than the width of your face. So you want to break up your face and the best type of sunglasses to do that is the wraparound. Okay. So it actually creates your face, it makes your face look a little bit shorter. And then next we have the oval, which again I sort of touched, you know, talked about. She can wear anything on the table. Um, the next one would be round. So because your features are soft and, and round, I actually have a round face. Um, what you would want to do is actually wear frames that are a little bit more square. Mm -hmm. So this is for the oblong. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So a square, it's because you want to counter the shape? You want to counter the shape. So it's all about proportion and balance. So with a round face, you would actually want to create, have harsher lines to sort of um, create a little bit more definition in your round face. Uh, interesting. So Kelly Clarkson, she has a very round face. So she would look best in frames that are actually square mm -hmm. or geometric, like very sharp sort of lines. So we have these Is this really, be that? this would be that <laughs> oh, as awesome. well as these here. So we've got the rectangle. So sharper lines. Okay, this is my prediction for myself, that this was Love my them. most flattering uh, pair. Because <laughs> I, I believe I also have kind of a round face, but we'll try you with this pair as well, too. Mm -hmm. I just think you're so pretty, so why not keep trying it on, right? Here, there you go. So we've done about th four so far, right? Right, so the next one would be the diamond face. So diamond, you're um, thicker through the midsection. So um, you're... you're uh, Measurements would be at the widest part. Okay. So um, actually what you want to do is sort of lift. So the cat eye Ooh. is great for sort of lifting and drawing attention away from your cheekbones. So and also very vintage and trendy, this I guess, is, right? This is number one hot trend for the season. I love, love, love. Oh, yes. It makes you just look so refined. It's a very oh, posh choice. It's a very posh look. They're great. They're fabulous. So again, it takes attention away from the cheekbones. Mm -hmm. And then the next one would be square. So similar to the round, you want to do opposite. So with the square face, what you would want to do is actually do round to sort of soften the harsh lines of your face. So this would be an excellent choice. These are a little bit more exaggerated. 
but these are really in for the season as well. The John, I call them the John Lennon yes, sunglasses. Yes, exactly. I love these. Oh, those look really cool as well too. So but cool. then again, she's, she's deceiving, She right? can just she's wear everything. She's cheating over here. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, we have some oversized one as well. These actually are great for me because I have a round shaped face. I love oversized. My scale of my face, she has quite petite face. So she has to be careful in how large she gets, like gets her sunglasses. Someone like me, I have to be careful how small I go because it doesn't look in proportion. Mm -hmm. to my face. So these are actually a great pick for me. So it's sort of square, but they're oversized. The best way to buy sunglasses and to see if they fit properly, you want to make sure that they fit on the bridge of your nose. You don't want them to sit too high. I'll show her. I'll show it on her. Too high up here. And you don't want to cover your eyebrows. Okay. So you want them to sort of, you want them to show your eyebrows and run along, r run along your eyebrows. Also, you don't want your sunglasses to fit too far off your face. So too far off. Some of these are slightly big for her. Um, but you want them to sit sort of about here. Too narrow will make the sunglasses look. So if they sort of sat here, it would make her face look larger. This is very technical. We obviously it's need so help technical. With this. People wouldn't think that. We have about a minute left to go. Can yeah. I get a very quick assessment? Do you I, do the honors? I would say, put your head down a little bit. I would say you have an, just stop smiling. Ov an oval. Uh, I would say oval. You have a bit, um, a bit fuller here. Yes. But you're actually lucky because you can wear anything and you have nice brows you really want to show off so really you can pick anything and look well, I'm gonna let the fabulous. expert picks while I, I talk about styleSilhouettes.com in the meantime which I think is fantastic because as mentioned this isn't something that maybe the average person can just do by themselves taking a picture is best if you take a picture and look at it then you know fabulous okay. so that the camera right now is showing <laughs> me how cool can we, can we all put a pair on right now mm -hmm. for more information go to styleSilhouettes.com after the break, we're going to talk about training your puppy with Doggy Playland. And maybe you guys stick around and show us how to put sunglasses on dogs. Because I love clothing <laughs> on dogs. Although, if you need help again, SouthSilhouettes.com is where to go. Stay tuned after the break. we got puppies. 